All dudes Gilligan? Everybody fighting to be Gilligan? Ginger? You prostitute? John, you're part of the OCs, and um, in my opinion, you're one of two veterans at this festival. You're in the black um, How does it feel to be one of the veteran representations of the uh, new age rock and roll scene? Um, well, the veteran part just makes me feel like uh, I'm old, which couldn't necessarily be that far from true, but the crew seems to cater both to geriatrics and to uh, young, young, young people. Uh, I don't know, it's cool. It's interesting, that's for sure. I have to. Uh, give credit to Michelle and Jonas because I wouldn't want to be in their shoes setting this whole thing up. I can't imagine that. So, yeah. I don't know about people, uh, you know, I don't know if it's like and there's definitely going to be an echo from San Francisco because there's a lot going on there, but everybody's got their own thing going on. And uh, I don't know, I've, I've always loved New York. You know, I grew up on the East Coast, so it's got a special place in my heart. I just really, really, I love San Francisco. I love all the people that I know that are making music there. Some of my, my favorite bands uh, are people I know, so I just feel real lucky, you know. Um, maybe there, there might be inspiration in the fact that people are getting out there and doing it with virtually nothing to other bands, which is great. You know, I met. Uh, for instance, I met the Jacuzzi Boys, and I finally got to see them because I'd heard them, and uh, they were kind of my favorite thing at the festival so far. And uh, they have a real California sound, but uh, I just I think it's because they probably are in a sun-drenched joint down here, too, you know, in Florida. So I don't know, man. Uh, am I answering your questions at all? <laughs> okay. Yeah, people are kind of really into delay, but um, that goes all the way back to like early country recordings. You got like uh, like Willie Nelson's earlier stuff and uh, Roy Orbison and uh, all those like a lot of crooner guys used uh, Slapback Elvis, you know, on some of his records you hear. It's coming back and now it's sort of, uh, it's more ridiculous. I think in our, in our, per in our band personally, originally it was because uh, um, None of us were very good singers out this before Bridget, you know, like I couldn't really sing that good. I'd, I'd always been in like more punk stuff where it didn't really matter. So it sort of was like a, a way to like sort of fudge the line between horrible singing and barely making it, you know. And uh, now we're just used to it. I've actually been trying to back off on it a little bit, but that's not the bait in the way it's been at these shows. I've had that thing turned up all the way. <laughs> I'm always curious what the next phase is, you know, I feel like um, it'll probably lie in a younger generation than me, you know, like everybody, uh, we can, we keep playing and we just kind of put, we, we work with whatever comes out that sounds good to us, we'll continue going there. I don't really have any preconceived notion about what I want to do next. I want to add another member, but only to open it up a little more, not necessarily with any idea. So I'm always impressed with like when I see a younger band who's doing something original right now, like um, it's been Total Control from Australia, kind of, they were like the best thing I've seen in a long time. And they are, I think they're pretty next level. Even though they're still like a rock band, there's something about it just feels different. It's tough to say, man, though. I always kind of imagined that it would just eventually be noise and all techno. And uh, it hadn't happened yet, so I don't know. I don't really know what the next step is, you know? Maybe it'll go back to acapella. Well, I wanted to ask you about Christmas. They're great. Yeah, I feel that they have nuances of stuff. And so that may be a little touch of rock and roll mixed with stuff and that. Do you think it's going to be like a, like a blending of genres? Well, I mean, Maybe Weird Al was ahead of his time, you know? <laughs> uh, 
the, the fact that there's a pool and a hot tub that are open all the time is really nice because that's pretty much uh, I get bored pretty easy, so I just jump in the pool and then that, that cures boredom. And the, uh, the water slide's pretty great, I got stuck on them twice today. Uh, the food has been actually pretty good, man. I can't believe that. I kind of would have expected it to be more airline-y, you know? Because, you know, that's just, just terrible, you know? And the, our waiter is fucking hilarious and uh, the food's been really good. And there's, I mean, if you're a fat man on this boat, then you are set, man. That buffet is out. 24, that's outrageous. This, they're just like shoveling food in your face. The pina coladas are actually pretty good. And they're pretty, I mean, on a hot day, man, that's, that's all right. Thank you. Hey, can we get some vocal monitors up here, please? Hey, man, I'm gonna need you to put a shirt on. Yeah.